All right. He sort of like very suddenly became the, the most experienced guy with most playing time on this team. Just what does that maybe mean for you? Uh, that means I'm gonna have to, you know, kind of lead, kind of guide the freshmen, even the guys who didn't get really significant amount of minutes. I'm gonna have to guide them, uh, show them a way, the way around, you know, this program and the way that was showed to me. Um, try to keep that con uh, that tradition alive and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to lead everybody and uh, uh, just show them what this program is about. So, yeah. I mean, you feel like you're ready to take on that responsibility as well? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think you know my time has come, and um, you know I've been here, I've seen it all, uh, I've seen what it's like, what it takes to win. So I'm definitely ready to handle that. It seems like about halfway through the season, the light bulb kind of switched on for you. Have you kept that momentum going in the off season so far? Yeah, I mean, I've just been, uh, you know, trying to focus on, you know, preparing for next year and then hopefully for what the future holds after that. So uh, I've kind of just been focusing on uh, uh, taking everything to another level. Um, and I think uh, that definitely, that momentum has definitely carried over because I felt uh, very good about myself. So just been trying to work every day and, you know, give maximum effort. I mean, everyone seems to focus on the things you guys can do offensively without Kofi, but defensively, how much do you think they do specifically? And I guess everyone else can improve. Yeah, I, I definitely think we're we're going to have a lot of different coverages. Uh, uh, as you saw last year and the years before, we were in a lot of drop coverages with Kofi, and at times it hurt us a lot. Uh, you know, but I think now we can you know start blitzing ball screens, start switching ball screens, start uh, you know attacking attacking people differently differently and. Uh, having multiple ways to come at people rather than just, you know, having drop coverage. And, you know, anytime you got to get a guy like uh, Walker on Michigan State who can hit that dribble pull up, you know, it kills you. Cause if that's what we want. We want tough twos. But you got a guy who's uh, efficient like that and making those shots, it, it, it kills you. So definitely switching up different coverages. Colin, have you had what would be considered an exit interview with Coach Underwood and the coaches? Uh, I mean, I've, uh, I've talked to them a little bit. Uh, Things have kind of, uh, it's kind of been hard to communicate in a way. I, I mean, I haven't seen them that much. I've been with Fletch a lot, but um, uh, we haven't really had like a true exit meeting. So uh, hopefully that will come soon and we can figure whatever uh, the future is out. So you, yeah. Yeah, so defensively, you talked about the versatility that you can bring. Has. What did you and Dane together in that new kind of style of defense? What can that do to opposing teams? Yeah, hopefully we can use our length and be able to uh, switch one through five. Uh, just, just everybody guard the ball, handle situations differently. Um, and Dane's a lot more quicker uh, uh, than than other bigs that we've had in the past. So I think uh, it definitely brings a whole new dimension, whole new dimension when it comes to. Uh, Different schemes we can have for for teams. So yeah. I know with the transfer world, things are kind of fluid. And I guess before you had that for me, have you kind of made this is a decision of what you want your future to be? What's kind of gone into that? Um, you know, I, I'm I'm patient with everything, but I think uh, next year can can be a really great year for me. Uh, I I think I can see myself playing um, at the next level um, in about a year or two. I hope. Um, and but that all starts with what I do right now in this off season. So I can't tell what the future holds, but uh, hopefully in a year or two I'll be able to go and play professionally. So some guys sum up what the transfer portal is for you guys. You make decisions and see guys come and go in your team. Uh, it's just it's just very in a way chaotic. It's just like you never know what's going to happen next. You're always trying to pay attention and. See who has you know news coming in. You're kind of refreshing Twitter, seeing where this guy's gonna go, where everything's gonna play out, and it's kind of just like a waiting game, and it's almost like poker. You know, you're just you're putting in and you're seeing what you can get out. So we, we just gotta play the waiting game, see see what's going on, talk to recruits, and uh, hopefully we'll have guys come in. So is that good? Do you like what it is now in college basketball? Yeah, I don't mind it. Uh, you know, if, if, if you got to do what's best for you, I think uh, that's what you got to do. Um, if it's a, a change, you know, whether it, you, you uh, 
you need a different new play style, you need a different location. If it's if whatever is best for you know the athlete, I think I'll support that 100. percent So and you know the May 1st deadline just as much as we do. Have you kind of mentally prepared yourself for every avenue that could happen here? Yeah, I mean, um, just understand that May 1st is a big time. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's different. I, I don't know, is it different with grad transfers or anything like that? So for people like uh, you know older seniors who can come in and come in when they want uh, and just see who can be an addition to our roster is definitely, uh, you know, I'm just preparing for whatever we can get. And uh, I know co uh, all the coaches are going to try to put everybody in the best situation. So whoever they bring in, I'm going to support them and we're, we're going to ride out with them. So you picked up one from the, from the portal, Dane Danger, who's going to be playing next year. Can you talk about how you guys complement each other skill wise? Yeah, so Dane can, you know, he could pass, he could dribble, uh, he can do uh, everything back to his basket. Uh, he's not just um, a defensive guy, he's, he's, he can score, he can defend, he can pass. So I think we'll definitely complement each other, you know, uh, you know, give and go. Any, any kind of, any kind of situation, I could just see me and Dan working great together. You know, we we played well in pickup games, and I, I I've seen that. You know, that the future is bright. Cool. Just to be clear, did you plan on coming back? So long? Yeah, I, I plan on coming back. Um, but like I said, still got to do the waiting game. We still got to see who's coming in, uh, and still got to meet with everyone and see what the future holds. So yeah. What do you think your role can be given? The last two for Coleman. And given the uncertainty in the rest of the world. Yeah, I think um, kind of being more of a scoring threat. You know, I think the last two years have been like energy guy, uh, but I think I can be able to showcase what I can truly do. And honestly, I feel like uh, no one's seeing what I can tr truly do because um, of what we've had, you know, the players we've had in the past. So I think with this team, I think I'll be able to showcase a lot more and bring a lot more to the table and really kind of bring out my true skill set. So. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Colin.